All right, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. I got a DIY repair to our dishwasher a few days ago. The strap broke, and it's a non-serviceable, non-replaceable part on our Frigidaire dishwasher. And unfortunately, also the holes where the straps go into the countertop are also stripped. So we've got some work to do here, but this should be a fairly easy fix, and it's going to save at least five, six hundred dollars than replacing this dishwasher. By installing some new cable straps. Now without the dishwasher straps working properly the dishwasher always wants to move forward especially when you have the door open and you pull out the dishes. To make this repair I'm going to go ahead and use some of this hanging cable strap. This comes both in plastic and metal. I don't have any metal on hand but I'm going to go ahead and use this because this is what I have. I'm going to double it up to make it stronger and go ahead and install this as new straps. After marking out some pilot holes here, I'll go ahead and drill through this metal band that goes completely around the dishwasher tub. Now it's important to make sure I just drill through the top of the metal band and not drill through the bottom. If I go through the bottom, then I'll go through the plastic tub and then I'll have a leak and the dishwasher won't be usable. Again, it's always best to use a pilot hole when you're working with metal, then go ahead and use a bigger drill bit to get a bigger hole. Next I'll go ahead and use a small impact driver to go ahead and drive down my screw here for the straps. It's important to know that when you're screwing metal on metal you only have one shot. You can't go ahead and keep tightening it. You gotta make sure you get it to where it's tight and then go ahead and set it and live with it. So once those straps are both secured to the dishwasher, it's now time to install the straps underneath the countertop. Again, it's important to use the right size screw and not to strip the screw in the countertop. All right guys, so this project turned out really well. It was a fairly simple repair, but you have to be really careful in taking on a project like this, especially when you're working with parts that are not serviceable. So guys, thanks for watching. You know what to do. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question, and we'll catch you next time. Okay. <laughs>